The smallest tremble, barely visible on Michael Benson's face as his victim's wife addresses the court Tuesday. James was not just my husband. He was my best friend and the love of my life. After that, any trace of emotion fades away as Yvonne Womack pleads with the court for the maximum sentence for the 26-year-old man who fatally shot her husband, James Womack, twice in the back. Prosecutors say it was the result of a road rage incident near 60th and L. I want for the judge also to see that, you know, he was a, was a good man and he did not deserve this. Benson's defense attorney also urging the judge to see his client's troubled childhood. All parts of him had been neglected by the age of 15 emotionally, educationally. Judge Timothy Burns had this to say in response. You know, Mr. Benson, I don't know when you're going to figure it out, but uh, you've had ample opportunity uh, to do so when you haven't. Burns gave Benson 67 to 89 years in prison for five total counts, including second degree murder. Womack's sister is overcome with relief. This past year and a half has, it's been, I, I, some days I don't know how I'm gonna make it. But Shirley Womack says she has to for her nieces and nephew. That's what keeps me going every day. It's his kids and making sure they know every day Every night, every morning, daddy loved you more than anything and anyone in this world. Womack's wife was hoping Benson would get life in prison. That's the max sentence for second degree murder. Benson will be eligible for parole in 37 and a half years. He would be 63 years of age. Reporting from the Douglas County Courthouse, Camilla Ortiz, KETV News Watch 7.